Imagine one day an alien spacecraft appeared and, through some kind of ultra-advanced technology, managed to steal all the salt from all the Earth's oceans and seas before whizzing off again. On the positive side, it would be nicer to swim in the sea and there'd be more drinking water available. On the negative side, it would be more difficult to buy sea salt from the supermarket and the Earth's atmosphere would change irreversibly, wiping out virtually all life on the planet. The immediate impact would be devastating. Seawater typically contains around 35 grams of salt per litre. In total, this accounts for almost 50 million billion tonnes of salt weighing down on the floor of the oceans. If this suddenly disappeared, it would be such a drastic weight loss regime that it would set off earthquakes, volcanoes and tsunamis throughout the world. Anyone who managed to survive these geological catastrophes would soon notice a change to the Earth's climate. In a 2022 study, Stephanie Olson from Purdue University in Indiana, along with other scientists, ran a computer simulation that looked at the effect on the Earth's climate of altering ocean salinity. With its current concentration of salt, seawater has a freezing point of around minus 1.8 Celsius. By reducing salt content to 20 grams per litre, the freezing point would rise to minus 1 Celsius, which would, according to the study, increase global sea ice coverage by a modest amount on its own. However, when they also factored in the effect on ocean circulation, a greater increase in sea ice resulted. Some ocean currents, such as the Gulf Stream, are mainly driven by the wind, but as the Gulf Stream moves north and part of it becomes the North Atlantic Drift, it cools. Increasing winds lead to more evaporation, which ultimately increases seawater salinity. When water becomes colder and more salty, it becomes more dense. This explains why the North Atlantic Drift sinks near Greenland and then slowly travels south along the ocean floor as part of the global thermo haline circulation. Thermo relates to heat and haline relates to salt. And the global thermo haline circulation is driven by differences in water temperature and salinity because those result in differences in water density. Reduce the salt and you disrupt the entire global circulation, which is what Olson and colleagues found. Considering ocean dynamics and freezing point changes together increased sea ice extent by a much larger amount. Would this trend continue if salt content reduced to zero? Not if you start to consider a vital third factor, marine life, virtually all of which would perish overnight. There are a billion, billion, billion phytoplankton in the world's oceans, responsible for the transfer of 10 gigatons of carbon from the atmosphere to the deep ocean each year. Without this carbon dioxide removal, the world would heat up rapidly and the atmosphere would lose oxygen, becoming poisonous to most forms of life. Thankfully, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. However, smaller changes in ocean temperature, acidity, salinity and biodiversity are already taking place because of human activities. Our salty oceans and seas exist in a delicate balance with the atmosphere, ice caps and life on Earth, and we need to be careful to avoid further upsetting that balance in the future. Thank you for watching this video about the importance of salty seas and oceans on the Earth's climate. Hopefully, aliens won't steal our sea salt anytime soon. Let us know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this, you'll be able to find more hypothetical videos in our What If playlist. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Met Office Learn About Weather channel so you don't miss our latest videos.